you were given one question asking about the tyrion and uh, what do you think could be the answer here so as we talk about tyrion you know a lot of questions are coming on tyrion h shape suture the weakest point on the lateral aspect of the skull one of the person riding a bike without helmet road traffic accident fracture here and a bleed so that kind of questions come so what do you think uh, which of the following is true regarding the tyrion is it formed by the articulation because it is h shaped suture four bones are there is it formed by frontal parietal temporal and occipital before we look at the options let us look at a diagram that will be helping us you see this is one uh, diagram where we are showing the lateral view of the fetal skull means the baby is already born and uh, there are some fontanel gap between the skull bones the fontanel and uh, there will be some uh, names given to them there are many but four of them are important so as you will notice the very first we are focusing upon is on the front the anterior so anterior fontanel you see here this is the anterior fontanel and we can mark it it is a gap between the skull bones and uh, on the front we have the frontal bone and on the posterior side we have parietal bone which is marked here so that is anterior fontanel then we have a posterior fontanel and posterior fontanel as you can see is between parietal anterior and uh, then you have occipital bone posterior so that will be posterior fontanel then we are having the posterolateral and anterolateral posterolateral is also called as the mastoid fontanel because it is relating with the mastoid part of temporal bone so a third bone has come mastoid part of temporal the occipital bone and parietal bone that is what is making this fontanel which is basically the posterior lateral fontanel or mastoid fontanel then there is this one which we are focusing upon anterolateral fontanel now anterolateral fontanel as we are looking at that what are the four bones that is the point we were asked as you can see on the front we have frontal bone posterior superiorly parietal bone then posterior inferiorly the squamous part of temporal bone now be careful about these names squamous part of temporal bone earlier the examiner was asking you temporal now he may ask you squamous part or mastoid part mastoid part is for posterolateral fontanel squamous part is for the h shaped suture which is later it will coming and then you have greater wing of sphenoid because you have greater wing of sphenoid that is why it is also called sphenoid fontanel now there is a gap that gap has to seal and it will happen after birth so when are they going to close after birth i will give you a trick you can use that trick and the trick is simple just remember the first to close is the posterior fontanel and say 3 months i must tell you that different authors will give you different values so you have to remember some of the values like posterior fontanel will close at third month closure 2 to 3 month third month now most of the books including laser anatomy will tell that the second to close is here that is the sphenoidal fontanel and that is also 2 to 3 months but then it may take some time and sometime it is 6 months also so because it is 6 months what i am doing is i'll multiply 3 month into 2 and when you do 3 into 2 that comes 6 it will be closing my 6 month so remember it is 3 to 6 months the anterior lateral fontanel 3 to 6 months then third one to close is the posterolateral fontanel and uh, how do you reach the answer whatever you got here 6 multiply by 2 6 into 2 so 6 into 2 that will be 12 so it will be 12 months this is closing 12 months so 12 to 18 is the range which you will get in different books but you can take it as 12 and the third one is to close last one fourth one is the anterior fontanel and it is whatever you got here 12 month into 2 so 12 into 2 that is 24 24 months so it will be closing my 24 months but then it is a range 18 into 24 i'll repeat the trick trick is the first to close is 3 month 3 into 2 6 month 6 into 2 12 months and 12 into 2 24 months so that will give you one basic idea last to close is the anterior fontanel and uh, if you look at gray's anatomy it will tell you the anterior lateral fontanel closes by 3 months but you keep it 3 to 6 months that range with that you can also 
continue discussing some other facts like here we want to find which of the following is true so what do you think choice a is not true why choice a is not true because as we have already mentioned if you are telling about the terion it is formed by articulation of frontal yes along with frontal you have parietal yes the squamous part of temporal yes but not occipital it was greater wing or sphenoid so because it is greater wing or sphenoid not occipital it is a wrong option what about option number b is it formed at three months that is correct and that should be the answer this should be the answer that is correct because we have mentioned when the anterolateral fontanelle will close it is three to six months so when it will close what will come in that place in that place the edge shape future and what is that edge shape future the period so the answer to this question will be choice number b what about choice number c it overlies the stem of the central sulcus is it central sulcus or lateral sulcus it is not central this is wrong it is lateral sulcus and uh, which is also called as sylvian sulcus and uh, that is why it is also called as sylvian point on cerebrum let me show you in a diagram say you draw this diagram of the cerebrum when you draw the diagram of cerebrum you will find that cerebrum will have some sulci the one which you are seeing right now is the lateral sulcus this is lateral sulcus this one is lateral sulcus and terion is here right here so beginning at the stem of the lateral sulcus or what is called as the sylvian sulcus that is where terion is and uh, what about the central sulcus which they have mentioned if you want to talk about central sulcus central sulcus will be running anterior inferiorly like this this is central sulcus so that is central sulcus which separates frontal lobe from the parietal lobe and that is not where we have the terion the question is asking about central sulcus where is central sulcus this is central sulcus and what central sulcus does it separates frontal lobe from parietal lobe but that is not where we have terion then where is terion terion is right here at the stem of the lateral sulcus and what the lateral sulcus on cerebrum does it is separating the temporal lobe inferiorly and superiorly it will be frontal and parietal so that means choice c is also wrong and instead of writing overlies the stem of central they should have written lateral sulcus which is also called sylvian sulcus this lateral sulcus has one more name and that name is the sylvian sulcus now what about choice number d so there comes one single chat and uh, the name is nothing what kind of name is that and sir aap na planner pe nahi ho ab doesn't matter teacher aapke paas hamesha rahenge is platform pe ho us platform pe kisi bhi platform pe is waqt main dr royals par hu aur aap jo hai जितना बेनिफिट उठा सकते हैं हमारी नॉलेज का हमारे एक्सपीरियंस का उठाइए अच्छे डॉक्टर बनिए आप ठीक है आपने वहां नथिंग लिख दिया फिर यहां पे आएगा समथिंग फिर यहां पे आएगा द ग्रेटेस्ट थिंग एवर मेहनत करिए और आगे बढ़िए ठीक है सो एंड व्हाट अबाउट चॉइस नंबर डी इट इज आल्सो रॉन्ग व्हाई चॉइस नंबर डी इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज अ फ्रैक्चर इन दिस एरिया कैन लीड टू नॉट सबड्यूरल हिमेटोमा इट विल बी extra dural or epidural hematoma so what you get here is epidural hematoma or what is called as extra dural hematoma not the subdural there will be one artery running deep that is anterior division of middle meningeal artery whatever i am telling they are all mcqs and they have high chance of appearing again anterior division of middle meningeal artery that will bleed to give extra dural hematoma or extra dural hematoma and uh, that will be under terion so this is a wrong choice because it it is not subdural subdural is because of some bridging veins and there are other reasons for that all of all these choices everything is wrong except choice number b because it is definitely form at 3 to 6 month so 3 month is fine according to grazer atwin so let us proceed further so joy has come now and giving 100% yes in life we should always be giving our 100% and joy is a good name and uh, i hope this nothing change, changes into something and changes into the greatest thing ever very soon 